Chapter 91 Steel Armor Championship On the day of the final match between Dollar and Qin Xin, the stands were packed with at least a dozen hundred thousand audience. Even many of those who didn't register came. In addition to it being the final match, it was popular also thanks to the fame of Dollar and Qin Xin. Qin Xin was undoubtedly the legend of Steel Armor Shelter. As a woman, she had been the champion of the martial arts contest for several years now, although she was never among the chosen. There was no doubt that she was the number one in steel armor shelter. In addition, she was also beautiful. All of these made her the goddess of steel armor shelter. People loved, feared, and respected her. Dollar's recent rise was even more legendary. He came from nowhere, but there had been so many headlines and controversies about him. Both seizing Son of Heaven's Sacred Blood Be Soul and killing Luo Tianong made Dollar a somewhat negative figure. But smashing through the robot channel and fighting Golden Horn Shura made him an idol. When one legend met the other, everyone wanted to know about the outcome. Will Qin Xin continue to be the invincible goddess? Or will Dollar become the new champion? Everyone was looking forward to this match. When Qin Xin and Dollar almost arrived at the same time, all expectations peaked and the cheers were deafening. Dollar? A bet? Qin Xin didn't move, but looked at Hansen with a smile. The audience heard Qin Xin's words and quieted down, wanting to know what bet she was proposing. What bet? Though looking calm, Hansen was puzzled. Did she want to buy the victory from him? If you lose this one, join my steel armor gang and be my deputy. When I evolve and go to Second God Sanctuary, you will be the head of the gang. Qin Xin had a sweet smile on. There was an uproar among the audience. No one thought Qin Xin would say something like this. Steel Armor Gang was far more than just a gang. It also represented the presence of military in the Alliance in God's Sanctuary. Qin Xin's was asking Dollar to become the official spokesman of the Alliance at Steel Armor Shelter. It was a great honor. Sorry, I cannot accept this condition. But unexpectedly, Dollar refused Qin Xin's offer. Why? Qin Xin looked at Hansen, stunned. The head of Steel Armor Gang was a position pursued by many. It was a ladder toward the power center of the Alliance, but Dollar turned it down without considering. The audience also thought Dollar was crazy. How can he turn down such a great offer? There are two reasons, Hansen smiled and said. First, you cannot beat me. The answer left many slightly shocked, while Qin Xian asked, what is the second reason? I will go to Second God's Sanctuary earlier than you. So although I appreciate your kindness, I can't take your offer, Hansen calmly said. His reply was arrogant. With her gang, Qin Xian could gain Geno points a lot more easily than most people. While Dollar was on his own, he said he could evolve earlier than her. But no one felt that Dollar was mistaken. It seemed that everything was likely with Dollar and he shouldn't be questioned. Qin Xian smiled. Well, then I would like to propose something else. If you lose, tell me who you really are. Qin Xian's words had led to a burst of cheers on the stands. All the audience were dying to know who Dollar was. Qin Xian's proposal was embraced by all. And if you lose? Hansen grinned and asked. You can propose something as well. Smiling, Qin Xian looked full of confidence. It was as if she would never lose. An S-Class license at St. Hall. Hansen was obsessed with the hyper Geno arts in St. Hall. He had neither the money nor the license. Deal. Qin Xian did not even lift her eyes before she agreed as if an S-Class license was nothing to her. Then let's begin. Hansen drew the Shura Katana. He didn't dare to slack when fighting Qin Xian, who had the most Geno points among all in the shelter. She was probably 10 sacred Geno points away from maxing out on everything. Hansen had never seen Qin Xian using her full strength, but he still thought he stood a chance. Hansen's biggest advantage was his understanding of Qin Xian. She would never thought that Dollar was in fact Hansen, who she had fought a million times. Although she was always kicking his ass, he had learned a lot of her fighting habits. Qin Xian, on the other hand, knew nothing about Dollar. Qin Xian stretched her hand and a beautiful purple butterfly started to dance in her palm, which turned into a purple dagger. Elegant and demure, she stood there like a goddess. Hansen had seen her using this sacred blood poisonous butterfly dagger once, but it was on the purple winged dragon. The dagger wasn't really effective as the dragon was gigantic. However, it would be different for a person. Hansen didn't know if he could stand the toxin if stabbed with the dagger. So, Hansen wasn't going to give Qin Xin any opportunity to attack. 
He wielded the katana using blade storm, and the strike was so fast as if it could break the wind. It was a similar strike as this one that had ended Luo Tianyang's life. Qin Shin smiled and moved away like a butterfly, dodging the fierce strike and stab her dagger at Han Sen's throat. Han Sen stepped forward and ignored the dagger. The katana was wielded at Qin Shin again. That was a move that put both their lives at stake. If Qin Shin did not dodge again, she would be cut in half. Since Han Sen was in sacred blood armor, he had a bigger chance at survival even cut by her sacred blood dagger. Scoundrel, Qin Shin scowled, gracefully moved sideways and avoided Han Sen's attack. Chapter 92 Atomic Fission Han Sen was thrilled to see Qin Shin moving away. A storm of katana strikes poured on the lady as Bladestorm was fully brought into play. Each strike was faster than the last. Qin Shien was forced to defend herself and had no chance to attack. Hansen knew well that Qin Shien was nimble. He had been practicing Ghost Haunt for a long time now and had improved a lot on his footwork. However, he had never been able to get close to her in any combat except for the first time when she had underestimated him. Sure enough, Qin calmly dodged all the strikes Hansen made calmly as if she were dancing. Meanwhile, she fought back from time to time with grace. None of it mattered to Han Senator, he hacked the katana at her regardless and worked both Blade Storm and Jade Skin to the maximum. A coolness gushed in his veins like a spring and activated every cell in his body. Qin Shin quietly warded off all attacks from Han Senator, she was very confident in herself. It took her a few years to finally get to the first stage of atomic fission. With her current Geno points and Beast Souls, Qin Xian believed that she could become the Chosen this year, and even the first place was not impossible. Atomic Fission was an advanced hypergeno art, which could fortify all body parts. As suggested by its name, it was close to the root of all hypergeno arts and could produce long-lasting power that improved one's physique significantly. It would be the perfect hypergeno art if it wasn't so difficult to get started. Qin Xian had started to practice atomic fission under her family member's guidance since she was a toddler, but her progress had been slow. Now she had practiced it for two decades, and she just got to the first stage a few months ago. Yes, just the first stage. But she had made a leap in her strength already with the first stage. Twenty years of practice did not go wasted. Once she got somewhere, her improvement was skyrocketing. Even Son of Heaven who was on the same level as she was easily defeated by her this year. It wasn't that Son of Heaven was weak, but that she had become too strong after getting to the first stage of atomic fission. Qin Xian believed that she could definitely reach the top this year and dollar wouldn't be an issue. Qin Xian wasn't even thinking about winning or losing, but how to win dollar to better impress him. Qin Xian did not care about the storm of blades. As fierce as it looked, it couldn't hurt her. She only felt it was a bit troublesome as she didn't want to kill Dollar. If you like driving, I'll let you drive. I will wait until you are so completely exhausted that you can't even move your arm. By then I will still be calm and appreciate your despair. Qin Xin smiled and dodged another strike, thinking, as long as you lose to me this way, you will think I am invincible and never dare to fight me again. Qin Xin intended to burn Hansen out. The way Hansen wielded his katana would consume his strength fast. Each strike brought all his potentials out at the cost of his stamina. For Qin Xin's atomic fission, stamina was one of its key strengths. A metaphor would be that a nuclear power plant was much more efficient than a coal-fired power plant. As Qin Xin kept avoiding Han Sen's attacks, she was patiently waiting for him to be worn down. The blood of the audience were set afire. Han Sen's katana was swift and fierce, and Qin Xin's dancing was ethereal and elegant. Their movements were so fast that they became a blur. It was indeed a great match. And in the eyes of ordinary people, Hansen was chasing Qin Xian and seemed to have the upper hand. Cheers of dollar could be heard from time to time. It seems that the champion in Steel Armor Shelter would be someone else this year. Of course, dollar is absolutely invincible. Haha, men are the master of this world. Tremble, women. Yang Monli curled her lips with disdain looking like a goddess who didn't deign to argue with the mortals. Son of Heaven was even more scornful. He had experienced how strong Qin Shin was. He had always known about atomic fission. If he had wanted to learn it, he could have. But as it took at least two decades for someone talented to get to the first stage, he chose not to. Indeed, everyone knew that this was a great hypergeno art, but few dared to practice it. 
No one wanted to put two decades into a higher genome art that they didn't know would work or not. If one failed, one would not even have a chance to start over with a different hypergeno art. Son of Heaven hadn't had the courage to practice atomic fission, and regretted it now that he saw how well Qin Xian was doing. Son of Heaven, it looks like Qin Xian was in trouble. She was continuously under attack, a young man in Son of Heaven's gang said nervously. Son of Heaven twitched his mouth and replied, What do you know? Qin Xian has got to the first stage of atomic fission, and she is basically impossible to beat. Although Dollar was attacking, he will soon lose his strength to even lift the katana. His loss would be miserable. So that's what it is. How experienced and knowledgeable you are. The young man quickly kissed up to him. But next to them, another young man commented abruptly, Keep silent if you don't understand it. Don't you have any common sense? Men are simply stronger than women, and it will be Qin Xian who is worn down first. Son of Heaven was provoked to wrath, but he paused when he saw the young man's face. It was the young master named Qing who had once hired Han Sen as his bodyguard. Yuan and the rest of the group were also there. Qing, son of heaven, gave a hollow laugh and explained, There are differences between men and women. But those differences were negligible. Dollar's stamina is far worse than that of Qing Xian who had reached the first stage in atomic fission. I believe in half an hour, Dollar wouldn't even be able to wield his katana. How come I can't see that? Qing was not convinced and said, my father told me that women are inferior to men. I know that Dollar will win, and that woman will definitely lose. Son of Heaven smiled with confidence. Ching, no need to debate. We will see what happens in half an hour. You will find out who is right at that time. Chapter 93, Better Stamina. But half an hour later, Son of Heaven's face became a bit stiff as Hansen was still fiercely brandishing the katana at the same speed. Son of Heaven, didn't you say that Dollar would be worn out in half an hour? I'm telling you my dad was right. Men are better than women, Ching said proudly. Looking at Son of Heaven's grim face, Yuan smiled and did not speak. Son of Heaven was really upset. According to common sense, Dollar would not last half an hour. With that kind of strikes, few in First God Sanctuary could. Ahem. It seems that Dollar has practiced some special hyper geno art that improves his stamina. Even so, he couldn't possibly last an hour. In another half an hour, he would be worn down. Son of Heaven wanted to restore some authority of his. Son of Heaven, you are a guy. Why do you keep cheering for a woman? My dad says that men are the best. I think Dollar must be better than that woman. You have no vision. Ching obviously did not agree with Son of Heaven's argument. Son of Heaven almost choked. Pretending to be calm, he said, Ching, if you don't believe me, keep on watching. In half an hour, you will know who is right. I'm just stating the fact here. Is there any need to watch? Dollar will certainly have no problem. He killed a golden horned Shura. Why will he lose to a woman? Ching said with open worship in his eyes. Son of Heaven did not say anything, considering argument with such a kid unnecessary. In a while the kid will see what is good judgment. But another half an hour had passed, and Dollar's spirit was still high. There was no sign of him burning out at all, which made Son of Heaven uncomfortable as if he had just swallowed a fly. Ching was very pleased and patted Son of Heaven on the shoulder. Son of Heaven, what did I tell you? Men can't be weaker than women. A man that can't beat a woman is not a man. It's been an hour and Dollar is still fierce. I believe that woman will be beat in a while. You need to learn from me so that you can have better judgment. Remember to take men's side instead of women's. Son of Heaven was seething with anger. He pretended not having heard Ching and kept silent. Right? Son of Heaven, why didn't you enter the final? Who did you lose to? Dollar? Ching wasn't even aware of Son of Heaven's emotions and kept asking him. How could I lose to that guy? Son of Heaven immediately said coldly. Who did you lose to then? Ching asked. Son of Heaven felt his own face was burning. He lost to the woman on the stage, but it wasn't time to tell Ching that. Knowing that Son of Heaven had lost to Ching Xuan, Yuan almost laughed out loud. He pulled the sleeve of Ching and asked, Are you here to talk or to watch the game? It's only fun to discuss the game while we watch, Ching retorted. Fun for you. Son of Heaven was about to be set on fire. Yuan glanced at Son of Heaven's sullen face and thought. Displeased, Son of Heaven felt strange. Dollar has been wielding the weapon so fiercely that it's impossible for him to keep going for such a long time. Unless he has also practiced atomic fission. Other than Son of Heaven, Ching Xian felt something was off as well. Attacking at such a high speed. 
Dollar had sustained way longer than she had expected, making her alarmed and surprised. In such a high-intensity duel, even she had begun to feel a little tired. Dollar, however, seemed to feel nothing and kept attacking with the katana swiftly, as if he could do this forever, giving birth to a trace of powerlessness in Qin Xian's mind. No, I cannot go on like this. He must have also practiced some hypergeno art that enhances his stamina. Maybe I will be the one who is worn out first. Qin Xian gritted her teeth and dodged another strike. She took back her dagger and two beast souls appeared in the air. One beast soul was the mutant golden lion that she had always used. She instantaneously shapeshifted into a magnificent golden lion. And the other beast soul was a ball of blue liquid, which poured into the lion and turned its golden body blue. The lion also grew larger and looked fiercer. That is sacred blood water spirit. Qin Xian actually got its beast soul. Son of Heaven was shocked to see that. He knew very well how scary his sacred blood water spirit was. It could coexist with another creature and make that creature exceptionally strong. Qin Xian made the final attack to the water spirit when she was hunting it with Son of Heaven, who did not know she got the beast soul. It seemed that the beast soul had the same power as the creature it once belonged to. With the help of water spirit beast soul, the mutant golden lion had become stronger than normal sacred blood creatures. Qin Xian could then fully display the power of atomic fission. Son of Heaven was surprised. Qin Xian has become so strong. It seems that this year she could be among top three of the chosen. Hansen knew Qin Xian really well. He glanced at her expression and knew something was off. Just before she summoned the water spirit beast soul, he summoned his wings and flew up high. Everyone was stunned, including Qin Xian. Who could have thought Dollar who looked like he was going for mutual destruction had flown away the minute Qin Xian shapeshifted? Qin Xian who had shapeshifted did not know what to do. These two beast souls were fierce enough for sure. Even Dollar used a sacred blood shapeshifting beast soul she could beat him. She chose the moment when Han Sin was making the most powerful strikes to shapeshift so that he wouldn't disengage himself. She didn't have sacred blood wings, so she wanted to end the match as soon as possible. What she did not think of was that Dollar who was chasing her just flew away faster than rabbits. Qin Xian suddenly felt very embarrassed. As fierce as she was right now, she could not fly and as a lion, she could no longer use weapons, so she couldn't even throw things at Han Sr. Chapter 94 The Winner Takes It All Flying in the air, Hansen summoned the mutant sawfish spear and cast it down at Qin Xian like how a fisherman would use a harpoon. The lion that Qin Xian had turned into reached out a claw and hit the spear hard. The spear as thick as an arm bent and bounced off. Fortunately, the spear was tough enough so that it wasn't broken under her claw. Hansen took back his mutant sawfish spear and watched her from above, not intending to attack again or to land. Everyone suddenly came to understand that Dollar was trying to consume Qin Xian's shape-shifting time. Shape-shifting beast souls required a lot of energy to use. Even Qin Xian couldn't stay like this for very long, or it would hurt her body. So shameless. Do you call yourself a man? What do you know? It's tactics. If she could fly as well, then good for her. There was suddenly a chaos on the stands. Some supported Dollar and some Qin Xian. Qin Xian simply could not reach Han Senator, she quickly dismissed the shape-shifting beast soul. But the moment she did that, Hansen flew down and slashed his katana at her. Qin Xian had met a lot of strong enemies, but she had never been as depressed as she was at this moment. Once she shape-shifted, Hansen would immediately fly into the sky. When she turned into herself, Hansen would then rush down. She became sullen as she couldn't make use of her own strength. Haha, Dollar is just great. He is fighting like a gorilla. He is bullying her. Qin Xian is almost crying. Shameless scum. How can a man be so brazen? Unabashed, Hansen believed it did not matter how he won as long as he won. If he could go to the contest among the champions of all the shelters and rank top 10, he would be rewarded a sacred blood beast soul. He would definitely try his best for that sake. Qin Xian did not expect that Dollar would sink so low to make her unable to use her power. Now she was only happy that Dollar was not an archer, or she would be even more miserable. Dollar, you are a dignified man. Do you dare to fight me head on? Qin Xian wanted to prod Dollar into action. Unfortunately, Hansen ignored her intention and replied, You are a soldier. Don't you understand that victory is all that matters? Even if I let you win today, what if you encounter champions of other shelters who could fly? 
Do you expect to persuade them to give up their ability to fly as well? Qin Xian paused and people who accused Han Sen of being shameless also lowered their voices. In fact, they should have thought of this. There had been more than one person who could fly among the Chosen before. Not being able to fly was a weakness of Qin Xian's and even if she won today, others might still choose to exploit that in the future. Many people who supported Qin Xian kept silent. Qin Xian smiled wryly. Well, I give up. We do not have to go on. Qin Xian knew that she had such a fatal weakness, but did not think Dollar would be so brazen to use that to his advantage. Now that she had no way of winning, she chose to throw in the towel instead of staying in this awkward match. Qin Xian now regretted that she did not work hard on archery, or she could have used an advanced B Soul Bow and Arrow to beat Dollar. You can pick up the S-Class license of Saint Hall at Steel Armor Gang. Qin Xian said and left the martial ring, which made Hansen this year's champion of Steel Armor Shelter. Dollar's victory was very controversial. A lot of people thought it was not honorary. But Hansen didn't mind his reputation as long as he could win the sacred blood be soul given to the Chosen. Qin Xian left in good grace, but she had also set Hansen up. If he went to pick up the S-Class license at Steel Armor Gang, she might be ready to ambush him. Hansen knew her so well that he didn't dare to pick up the license under her nose, as he knew she must be quite upset with him. The contest in Steel Armor Shelter was officially over. The top 100 all had their names on the martial steel and the martial ring. The first name there was Dollar. Hansen hoped that no one would call him Doll again. However, many still did. All the shelter champions would start to compete in 10 days. By then everyone in First God Sanctuary could see the match taking place in the Chosen Martial Ring. The top 10 participants would each gain a random Sacred Blood B Soul and be named the Chosen. If one had been the Chosen for the second or more time, one would no longer be awarded more Sacred Blood B Souls, but an upgrade to one's B Soul awarded the first time. Many of the Chosen would just go into the entertainment industry and become a star. Countless agents and companies would try to sign the Chosen with a large chunk of money. Unfortunately, the 10 Chosen were normally the same persons from last year. Fresh faces would only have an opportunity once they evolved and win a second god sanctuary. Hansen didn't care for the entertainment industry, but he would spare no effort in gaining the reward of a sacred blood beast soul. Legend has it that as the Chosen's reward, someone had once gained a beast soul in the shape of a beauty woman. Some rich guy offered more than a billion dollars and even an interstellar warship for it. No one knew if the deal was made, but no one had seen that beast soul again. It must be collected by some rich beast soul lover. Hansen naturally wanted to be assigned a beast soul in the shape of a beauty and become rich overnight. But he would first have to become the chosen. Only 10 days to go until he started competing with other champions. There was no time for him to hunt for more Geno points. Hansen decided to use the time to train himself in the teleport station. The gravity trainer was indeed a wonderful training device which had helped Hansen a lot. He could push himself really far in a short amount of time inside it and practice Jade's kin much more efficiently. He would then complete the training tasks assigned by Yang Manli and use the rest of the time to play Hand of God. Han Sen was not sure what Gambler meant by pass. He thought he had to clear all levels, but in fact what Gambler meant was just to pass the beginner level. That was why Han Sen felt terrible that he still hadn't been able to pass the beginner level in so long. This game is so demanding on my dexterity of the entire arm and my control of muscles and bones. If I use Jade Skin when I play, I should be able to improve my score greatly. Hansen tried it, and his scores indeed boomed. On the sixth day, he was able to level up for the first time. Hansen was still vexed with the fact that it took him so long to pass the beginner level and he even had to use Jade Skin. However, if Gambler knew Hansen had already passed beginner level, he would be so shocked that his chin should fall to the ground. Chapter 95, Evolver, 3. Because of the misunderstanding, Hansen continued to challenge the Evolver level of Hand of God, but he was making little progress even when using Jade Skin. Recently, young Monli was satisfied with Hansen's performance. He had finished all the tasks she assigned him, and the data of the Gravity Trainer became normal again. She thought it was because he had stopped exploiting the loophole, but little did she know that he was actually increasing the difficulty so that his result could look normal. It was almost midnight and Hansen was the only one left in the gym, playing Hand of God. He had discovered that the game was almost designed for him. 
Since he started practicing Jade's Can, he had gained exceptional control of his bones and muscles, and he had also become much more flexible. This game could help improve his reflexes and agility, which was a great for his progress with Sleeve Blade and other skills that required handwork. Qin Xian teleported out of God's Sanctuary to look for Yang Manli, who chanced not to be in the teleport station. When passing by the gym, Qin Xian saw the light in the gym was still on and knew someone was still in there. She curiously took a look and saw Hansen was playing Hand of God. Qin Xian felt nostalgic as she played this game a lot when she was in military school, putting a lot effort in it as well. Although autonomous vehicles had been the mainstream in the Alliance for a long time, manual control was still needed when one was operating a Warframe. In an interstellar war, Warframes were fundamental as it would be hardly profitable to destroy a planet with weapons of mass destruction. Warframe, as an individual combat tool, played a vital role in wars these days. All military schools were training their students to operate Warframes, which was one of the basic skills of a soldier. Hand of God was one of the best ways to improve one's speed and control, which were relevant to Warframe operation. Qin Xian felt that she should teach Hans in some tricks of the game. As he was handpicked by her, she would like to make him better. Let's see how you are doing first. Qin Xian approached Hansen and watched carefully. She was a bit far from him just now, so all she could see was that he kept failing, and that was why she wanted to teach him. But when Qin Xian got closer, she suddenly felt that the holographic spots were disappearing too fast, which was why he kept making mistakes. Which level did he choose? Qin Xian checked the data on the screen. Evolver? Three? Qin Xian could not help but frown. She thought that Hansen was too ambitious. The Evolver level was designed for Evolvers, as the name suggested. The Unevolved could sometimes pass the Evolver level, but that was very rare. Even for Qin Xian with her current abilities, she could only pass Evolver two occasionally, which was already incredible for an Unevolved. After all, the Unevolved weren't the target players here. But Hansen was challenging Evolver, three, and he was just aiming too high. Biting off more than you can chew will get you nowhere, she thought, while she did not interrupt Hansen but watched him starting over again and again. She wanted to teach him a lesson when he chose to give up. Having watched for a while, Qin Xian became serious, then surprised, and eventually shocked. Hansen was failing again and again. But in this process, he was making less and less mistakes and improving at a shocking rate. As someone who had worked hard on this game, Qin Xian knew that once you had reached your limit in the game, you could hardly improve again even with months' effort. A limit is a limit, and no practice could bring you over your limit. Unless your strength had improved significantly, no exercise could raise your score. The purpose of playing Hand of God was to show one's potential. But one couldn't improve one's potential by playing the game over and over again. Now Han Sen's improvement could only mean one thing, Evolver. 3 was not yet his limit. That was why he could still reduce his mistakes and get better. Evolver, 3 is not his limit. Is his talent in this area so great? Qin Xian did see great things in him, but did not expect he would be so good at this game. When she was in military school, the champion of the Military Academy League was just able to pass Evolver, 3. And that guy was top 10 in the Warframe contest of the league. He was known for his swiftness and accuracy, and even had a nickname, Lighting Hand. Hansen reached the same level without any professional training, which was why she felt shocked. Can he pass Evolver? 3? Qin Xian stood aside, watching Hansen with a complicated expression on her face. Hansen did not notice the arrival of Qin Xian at all. Now, all his attention was focused on hitting the spots appearing everywhere. Jade's skin was fully employed. Faster, I can go faster. Hansen's arms kept making swift and odd moves, twisted like serpents from time to time. Using all the muscles in his fingers and arms, he kept hitting all the spots appearing from nowhere. After the completion of Evolver 2, Hansen had experienced countless failures adapting himself to the difficulty of Evolver 3. He felt easier and easier to keep going and started to feel that he could definitely pass this time. Chapter 96, Amazing Talent. Qin Xian felt suffocated as she almost stopped breathing when she saw Han Sen's hands dancing madly. Halfway through Eviler, 3. Han Sen had made no mistake yet. His hands were moving so fast that sometimes all she could see was the afterimage, which amazed her. Although the test had not yet been completed, Qin Xian was able to determine that Han Sen had the ability to pass Evolver. 3. 
Judging from what she saw, he was not just lucky, but making progress constantly. Evolver 3 This is Evolver 3. Qin Xian was suddenly pleased with herself. She was the one who discovered Han Sin and insisted that he join her squad. The potentials he was exhibiting proved her decision extremely wise. An unevolved who could complete Evolver, three in hand of God was very likely to be invincible among all the unevolved once he learned how to operate a Warframe. This kind of ability seems wasted on a sniper or archer. Qin Xian was swayed for a moment, as he would make a better Warframe operator in an open battle than a sniper in the dark. But thinking of Han Sen's cautious character, Qin Xian soon gave up the idea as he was not cut out for close combat. But this discovery still made Qin Xian happy, because Han Sen was the best candidate to operate a Warframe equipped with multiple long-range shooting weapons. Ding! A crisp sound interrupted the thoughts of Qin Xian. It was the tone of Han Sen passing Evolver. 3. She was no longer surprised, because she had predicted that this was not his limit. But she was now more convinced of Han Sin's amazing potentials and felt more determined about one thing. This person is mine, Qin Xian thought eagerly, as Han Sin started to play Evolver 3 again. Even Qin Xian herself could not have foreseen that she would have such high hopes for this guy who mistook her for a creature and stabbed her in her, but the first time they met. Evolver 3. If he got more Geno points and became an Evolver, how great could he be then? Qin Xian was slightly excited. She quietly watched Hans and practice for a long time before she went out of the gym. Maybe I could raise the bar for him. Qin Xian thought with a smile that would make Hans and shudder. Ten days had soon passed. Hans was stuck and couldn't pass Evolver for in such short time. There were ten phases in each level and Hans Sin's performance had been exceptional for an unevolved. Practicing Hand of God not only benefited his sleeve blade skills, but also helped his speed of blade dorm, as his improvement dot was comprehensive. The contest of all champions has finally come. I have to be in the top 10. Hansen had read a lot of information from previous years and felt that he stood a good chance. It was not to say that he was invincible. This year, several powerful chosen had gone to Second God Sanctuary, which meant he had less competition. Hansen studied his potential competition for a long time and found that his biggest rivals were likely to be Tang Jinliu and Lin Fo. Tang had been the chosen several times. He was the fifth last year and three of the four that ranked higher than him had gone to Second God Sanctuary this year. The only one who didn't go was named Lin Feng, similar to the name of Han Sen's friend Lin Bei Feng. Lin Feng was the second place last year. There was no doubt that this year the two men would be the ones to beat. He looked through the description from a lot of people who had watched last year's contest and found the two strong indeed. Great fighting skills, plenty of advanced beast souls plus the sacred blood beast souls awarded to them last time, as well as their growth this year, all meant they shouldn't be taken lightly. Han Sen has met Tang Jinyo before. Although he kicked Tang's ass in the game, it was completely thanks to his reflexes and prejudgment. In a real combat, he needed more to win and just Tang's beast souls alone were trouble enough. How come these two guys did not go to Second God Sanctuary? Han Sen was ever more concerned after he read the description. No matter how well they could fight, the beast souls they had would be fearsome enough. I hope I won't run into them too early, or I would probably be in bad shape even if I won, which would be a disadvantage in the following matches, Han Sen thought. He could gain a Sacred Blood Beast Soul as long as he was top 10, and the beast soul was assigned randomly. Therefore, Han Sen did not think of the first place but would be happy as long as he was one of the chosen. When Hansen was considering all kinds of possibilities, he heard his comlink and saw a strange number on it. Hansen frowned. He was not sure who it would be and answered the call hesitantly. Beyond Hansen's expectation, popped up in the holographic image was Tang Jinliu. Surprise! Tang laughed. It sure is. What's up? Hansen asked. I need a favor from you, Tang said. Let's hear it. I am just a nobody and may not be able to help you. Hansen said with a smile. You sure can. It has to be you too. But no worries, you could name your price, Tang Jinliu said. What favor exactly? Hansen cringed. Let's talk about it in person. Are you home now? I'll pick you up, Tang said hurriedly. No need. Tell me the place and I'll go to see you. Hansen felt strange. Tomorrow was when the contest would start. What was Tang doing looking for Hansen rather than preparing himself? Is it about the contest? Hansen guessed and felt it necessary to figure out what Tang was up to. 
Chapter 97, Same Style When Hansen arrived at the place Tang Jinyu told him, he saw Fang Jingqi was also there. Tang led Hansen into the living room. After entering the living room, Hansen saw that on the sofa sat a young man, who was very quiet and did not speak when he saw Hansen coming in. Tang, what do you need me for? Hansen asked directly. Brother, look at this first. Instead of answering Hansen's question, Tang played a video. The scene was shot in a martial ring. A man in combat suit was surrounded by a group of people wearing masks. The moment Hansen saw the man he shuddered, although it was just through the holographic image. Then the video began. Under the siege, the man started a gorgeous murder show. It was a slaughter. In 1 minute and 23 seconds, the man in combat suit was holding nothing but a dagger. He had killed a total of 34 people, each in one strike. No one survived, and no one could stand up again after taking a strike. The man was like death himself, harvesting lives casually. This person is a lot like you. After the video was played, Tang looked at Han Sen and said, That's not me, Han Sen said quietly. Of course it's not you, but you fight in the same style. Before you strike, there is no warning or signs. But the strike itself was fast and fierce, with perfect timing. You were both assassins, Tang concluded. Although Tang had not fought Han Sen, he was a great fighter and discovered many things when he was playing that drinking game with Han Sr. So? Hansen frowned. This person is called Yi Dongmu, grandson of Senator Yi who is demigod. This year he is the champion of Tsar Shelter. In other words, he is one of my competitors, Tang explained. What do you want me to do? Disable him so that he cannot participate in the contest? I am sorry, but I do not have that kind of skills. Hansen spread out his hands. Of course not. He is the grandson of Senator Yi. Even we couldn't approach him easily, let alone you. We could never assassinate him. In the Alliance, wherever he goes, he's always closely guarded, Tang said. We have invited you here because we want you to imitate Yi Dongmu's tactics and spar with us. Truth be told, I really have no confidence to block his weird strikes and you can help us get used to his style. What's in it for me? Hansen did not decline. Tang pondered, moved his lips but didn't speak. They were basically asking Hansen to teach them how to beat himself so it was very hard to name the price. If Hansen was someone important, they would not even have asked as it could be perceived as provocative. We can try our best to accommodate whatever you propose, Fang Jingqi said. An S-Class license of St. Hall, Hansen paused and said, Deal. Tang replied so fast that Hansen felt that he might have asked for too little. Maybe he should have said two S-Class licenses. But Hansen had always been an optimist. One S-Class license was a great price already and what they asked him to do helped himself in turn as well, as Idomu might be his opponent as well. I have to say this before we start. My skills are inferior to Yi's. Even if you could parry my attacks, you might still be stabbed by him, said Han Sr. I know. Here are some videos of him fighting. Watch carefully and then we will start. We don't have much time left and we can only hope that our first opponent won't be him so that we'd have more time to practice. Tang Junyo sat on the couch and joined Lin Feng, leaving Hansen to watch the videos himself. Hansen watched one video after another. None of the videos were shot officially. Hansen felt this trip was worth it, because if he encountered Yi Dongmu without knowing his style, he might be killed in the match. Indeed, they shared the same style. The difference was that Hansen had formed the style himself, while he clearly had a great mentor. That was why Yi's skills were much better. He seemed to have a better fitness level than Han Sen as well. As for Beast Souls, Han Sen was sure that he had better ones than his as well. As the grandson of a demigod and senator, his grandfather would manage to get him nice stuff no matter which shelter he was in. Although time is limited, none of Tang Jinliu, Fang Jingqi, and Lin Feng asked Han Sen to hurry. They let Han Sen repeatedly watch the footages. Hansen sometimes would replay some details several times. He had taught him a lot through these videos, which meant more to Hansen than an S-Class license. In just less than four hours, Hansen felt as if he had been through a revolutionary change. However, after full understanding Yi's way of fighting, Hansen was surprised to find that although Yi's strikes looked terrifying, there were subtle defects to his style. And only those who deeply understood this style would be aware of these defects. Tang was getting impatient and wanted to interrupt Han Sen, but Lin Feng the quiet man stopped him. It was in the evening when Han Sen had finished with the videos. 
Let's get started. Hansen got up and said, Well, let me see how well you can imitate E. Tang took Hansen into a combat room in the villa. Hinson grabbed a dagger the same shape of Yi's dagger. Its edge was not sharpened, and its blade was retractable, so that no one would get hurt. The way Idomu and Hansen fought required them to do their best with each strike. If real weapons were used, Tang was afraid that he would be injured by Han Sr. Let's begin. Tang tightly watched Hansen and did not step back. They wanted to practice how to parry Yi strikes after being approached by him. Chapter 98 An Interesting Person Hansen approached Tang, holding a dagger backhandedly, a way he had learned from me. Two feet away from Tang, Hansen suddenly wielded the dagger and stabbed it at him from an unexpected angle. Fang Jingxi was shocked, and the quiet man's eyes lit up. Tang was covered in cold sweat, and it was too late to parry that attack with his broadsword. He abruptly turned sideways but was still stabbed in the waist. S asterisk hashtag T. Your strike was not that different from his, Tang called out, staring at Han Sr. Fang Jingxi looked at Hansen with a strange look and the quiet man's eyes also fell on Hansen's hands. Hinson was surprised himself as well. He was practicing Jade's Ken madly these days. And practicing Hand of God had also enhanced his speed. In addition, he just saw Yi's way of fighting and had some new insights. Now his strike was so powerful that he couldn't believe it himself. Aha! God loves me. With you sparring with me, you will be no big deal. Tang laughed out loud. For a whole night, none went to bed, but the only one who was practicing with Hansen was Tang. Fang Jingxi didn't register in the contest, and the quiet man was just watching and did not meant to join them. Having practiced for a night, Tang could not avoid Han's dagger as long as Hansen was within a foot from him. Tang didn't develop a way to defend himself, while Hansen was getting better and better. S asterisk hashtag T. I give up. There is no way to parry your attacks. Maybe I'm doomed. Tang said sullenly, as he saw it was about time to go to God's sanctuary for the contest, and there was no point in going on. Now you are able to deal with E. Lin Feng who had been watching in silence suddenly said. Lin, what do you mean? Asked Tang, sitting up straight and staring at Lin Feng. Yidongmu is not as good as him. You can't parry his strikes, but with E you would be able to avoid being stabbed in fatal parts. If your luck is not too bad and run into E in a few days instead of today, you could block Yi's strikes at a very small price. Hearing this remark from Lin Feng, Tang and Fong all looked Han Sen, appalled. They knew Lin Feng well and was shocked that he would speak so highly of Han Sen by saying that Yi Dongmu was not as good. Han Sen's background was much inferior to Yi and Yi was probably also older. Yet Lin Feng said Yi Dongmu was not as good as Han Sr. If the remark was from another person, they would certainly have scoffed. But they knew Lin Feng and he was never wrong. Last year, the only reasons he was not the first place were that he hadn't broken the bottleneck in his hypergeno art, and that he entered God's sanctuary two years later than his opponent. No need to look at him that way. I'm just saying his style is better than Edomu's, but his fitness was still inferior to Yi, of course. Lin Feng smiled and reached a hand out to Han Sr. I am Lin Feng. Very pleased to know you. You are an interesting person. Han Senator, a pleasure. Han Sen shook his hand smiled and said. Well, it is late. Let's shower and teleport. Tang interrupted the eye contact between Han Sen and Lin Feng. He turned to ask Han Sen, there is a teleport device here. You want to join us? No, I did not register so I will not go. Han Sen declined and left. Watching Han Sen leaving the villa, Tang asked Lin Feng, is he really so good? He's better than you think. If he had the same background as E, he would be 100 times more impressive than the latter. He understands the essence of assassination, while E only has some skills. His growth was limited by his background, but he will be well known in a few years, commented Lin Feng. Such high praise from Lin. He must really be something, Fang Jingxi said. In a few years, will he surpass you? Tang was interested. In first God's sanctuary, I am invincible, said Lin Feng casually, exuding confidence. This time Han Sen had gained a lot. Not only did he get an S-Class license from Tang, he also enhanced his advantages in sneak attacks. As pointed out by Lin Feng, his strikes were more threatening than Yi's. But no matter how powerful his strikes were, he had to first get close to his opponent, which was not easy. In practice, he started from the proximity of Tang, who would never let him get so close in a real match. After all, the art of assassination was better used in the dark. 
He had practiced a kind of footwork that allowed him to easily approach others even from the front, but Hansen had never learned it so it was hard for him to get close. That footwork was also a hypergeno art and involved special techniques. Hansen was never good at footwork and could not imitate from watching the videos. Even if he tried, he couldn't get the essence of it. Therefore, it was essential that he should learn his own footwork. Maybe I should consider using this on my footwork. Hansen squeezed the S-Class license in his pocket. But now he had no time for that practicing a new hypergeno art took time. Hansen went to the teleport station, entered God's sanctuary, dressed himself as Dollar, and entered the martial ring. In the middle of the martial ring erected a giant sacred steel that was a hundred times more magnificent than the martial steel. Under the watch of people from Steel Armor Shelter, Hansen marched into the sacred steel and was teleported to a huge martial ring chosen martial ring. In all the shelters of God's sanctuary, there was a similar sacred steel from which the image of chosen martial ring was projected. At this moment, champions from all the shelters were entering chosen martial ring from the sacred steel. Chapter 99, The Chosen Slayed in One Strike Hansen realized how large the population of the Alliance was and how large First God's Sanctuary was when he entered Chosen Martial Ring. Every shelter had about 100,000 people like Steel Armor Shelter. And everyone in Chosen Martial Ring now was the champion of their own shelter. The stands were almost filled with at least 100,000 champions, which meant there were at least 100,000 shelters in First God's Sanctuary. It was a dizzying figure indeed. After humans entered the interstellar era, they had conquered lots of habitable planets and had been thriving. Now the humankind was so huge that only Shuraz could compete. Among the champions of all shelters, Dollar was the most famous one, in addition to the chosen from last year. That video of Dollar fighting Golden Horn Shura was so viral that all mainstream media had covered it, so Dollar had become a household name in the Alliance. Many people were curiously looking at Hansen, as they wondered how Dollar really was. But it was mostly just curiosity. They had all watched the video starring Han Senator, although the storyline was impressive, Dollar didn't really show much strength at that time. His Sacred Blood Beast souls were great, but he himself not so much. Hansen at that time would be very far behind among the champions of all shelters. After all, these people were one in a hundred thousand with great physiques and advanced beast souls. It hadn't been long since Hansen fought the Shura so no one believed he could have made much progress. People mostly just wondered about him, and didn't treat him as a fierce rival. When the channel into Chosen Martial Ring was closed, the match list finally appeared on the Sacred Steel. The names on the list were the ones the champions left on the Martial Steels. Hansen quickly searched the list for Dollar, and he found it very soon. The words stood out to him for some reason and others had found their own names as well. In this contest among the champions, a one-on-one -on -one model was adopted and the winner of the two would enter the next round, so the list was like a pyramid. Hansen was relieved to see both Tang Xinliu and Lin Feng were arranged far from him, and there was no chance they would meet before top 10. Hansen scanned the list again and another name caught his eye. Yi Dongmu. He used his real name? Hansen saw the name Yi Dongmu and followed his path. He was suddenly startled. If he and he could both win all the way, they would fight for the chance to become the Chosen. So in order for Hansen to gain the Sacred Blood Beast soul, he must beat Yi. Tang Jin Liu was afraid of Yi, while I was the one who met him. Yi Dongmu, your luck is no good. If Tang didn't come to me, I might lose to you. But now it's different. Maybe I am Chosen, Hansen thought happily. Perhaps others would be afraid of Yi, but he was confident he could beat Yi after watching the videos. Chosen Martial Ring was divided into a thousand stages stacked on top of one another. Each time a thousand pairs could fight at the same time. Hansen was in a late match, so he went to see other matches first, especially the one he was in. He had to know how much better he was getting compared to his performance in the videos. Idomu's match in this round was also rather late. Hansen watched a few matches and was surprised as no one was to be taken lightly in this contest. He also watched Tang Zhenliu's first match. His opponent stood no chance under his fierce broadsword skills. After Tang's shape shifted, his opponent was barely fighting back. Tang's techniques and strength were both outstanding in the contest. Lin Feng whom Hansen was paying even more attention to also won his match, while Hansen didn't really understand the way he won. His opponent was a nobody, but Lin Feng only won by a narrow margin. 
Han Sin could even imagine that in the reports next day, Lin Feng's opponent would be described as had a glorious failure. But for some reason, Lin Feng made Han Sin feel more threatened than Tang did. Finally, it was Yi Dong Mu's turn. He was not well known at the moment. Although he was the grandson of Senator Yi, only a few people knew he was in the contest. After all, this was his first contest. However, his opponent was a celebrity who ranked number 10 last time, nicknamed Dragon Swordsman. Dragon Swordsman was very handsome and had great sword skills. With lots of female fans in the alliance, he enjoyed great popularity among all the chosen. Dragon Swordsman's match was naturally high profile. A lot of people thought that he had a chance of being top 3 this year, and all the girls were cheering for him. Few paid attention to Yi Dongmu, his opponent. But 10 seconds from the match started, everyone was shocked. Before Dragon Swordsman drew his sword, Yi Dongmu's knife had cut his throat. Watching Dragon Swordsman clutching his own neck in pain and collapsing, the audience were silent. His female fans were covered in tears with hands on their mouths, not accepting what they saw. One of the chosen last year, Dragon Swordsman was killed in his first match. That would sure become the headline next morning. This was all it took for E to be known throughout the alliance. Hansen was calm. Although he had made some progress, the well-born kid still did not understand the essence of assassination. Chapter 100, Contest Center. It was Hansen's turn. His opponent was a guy called Leiban. The moment Hansen got on the stage, Laban summoned a beast soul bow and three beast soul arrows and shot all three arrows at him. The three arrows almost flew to Hansen at the same time. Hansen was surprised. Laban was at least as good at archery as him, and even had better techniques than him. Judging from the look of his bow, it was likely a sacred blood beast soul bow, and two of the three arrows were dark green. So they were probably poisonous like his mutant black stinger arrow. The third arrow was made from blue crystal and sounded as if it could tear air apart when it was in the air, which suggested it could be a sacred blood beast soul arrow. Sure enough, there is no one weak here. Hansen swiftly dodged the strongest blue crystal arrow and summoned his mutant sawfish spear to ward off the other two arrows. Hansen felt a bash as the arrows and his spear collided. The spear almost fell from his hand. Excellent archer and weapons, thought Hansen in awe. He squeezed the spear and approached Leiban. Leiban was not only fast, but was also able to shoot while running. The arrows were not affected by his movement at all. Unable to trap Leiban with his spear, Hansen had to run after Leiban while dodging his arrows. Hansen had a lot of respect for this opponent, who had much better footwork than him and could shoot arrows in all positions when moving with both great strength and accuracy. Hansen had also worked hard on archery, but he was only able to shoot when standing still. His accuracy would suffer a lot if he tried to move. Laban was indeed much stronger than him in archery, so Hansen was not in a hurry to end the match. Instead, he started to observe his opponent and learn from him. Hansen's match had also attracted a lot of people's attention. After all, Dollar was popular. But compared with Idomu, his performance was less than impressive. More than half an hour had passed, and they were still running after each other, rendering the audience drowsy. In First God's Sanctuary, people were quite disappointed in Dollar, except for his hardcore fans. Since a match with an unknown person had cost him so much effort, Dollar didn't seem to have what it took to become the Chosen. When the match had been going on for more than an hour, Hansen's shape shifted into the Bloody Slayer, approached Lei Ban, and beat him in a close combat, which Lei was not good at. The same day, all major media in the Alliance had covered the contest. Although there was no image, the reporters managed to depict the matches vividly with words. Their main focus was on Yi Dongmu's match. Yi's background was also published, the grandson of Senator Yi who had graduated with stellar grades from the best posh school before entering God's Sanctuary. His background and his sequel of Dragon Swordsman made him a major contender this year. The victory of Tang had also made him a favorite. Another top contestant was Lin Feng. His match, however, benefited his opponent, who was considered to have lost by a narrow margin by the media. There were articles on Hansen too, but they were rather short in general. The longer ones were all focused on the disappointment in Dollar. Most of the reports were filled with phrases like, narrow win, work to be done, hard to live up to the reputation, and to be improved. There was not much description. In fact, those who saw Hansen's match including his fans, had to admit Dollar was just average. 
The team of the TV program, Contest Center, was holding a meeting in their office building. In the conference room, the station director Su Kong Yin was tapping his finger on the table. He looked at Fong Mingguan sitting on his right side and suggested with a smile, Fong, do you think we need to make some alterations to today's show? Which alterations do you have in mind? Fong Ming frowned, as he could guess what Su Kong Yin wanted to say. Since Dollar's video became viral, Fong Minghuan was poached by Huashing Station's Contest Center team. Because he had taken the place of an old host in the station, he was not the most popular person here. He was targeted here and there, which made it difficult for him to realize his career goals. Fong, we journalists have to focus on the hot issues. Contest Center was designed for this contest, and we ought to focus on the more outstanding matches. Su Kang Yin paused and said, Shall we put Dollar's content on hold? and release it when he had a better match? Let's focus on Idomu first. What do you think? The director has a point. He is so popular right now, of course we should focus on it. Dollar was just lucky to have killed a badly injured Shura. His weakness was exposed in the contest, and he couldn't even be in the top 100, let alone the chosen. There is little point covering his match. We need to focus on Yi who could be the first place. Wang Cha Ching said with his face stern, giving Fong Mink one a cold stare. This program used to belong to Wang Cha Ching, and he was replaced by Fong Mink one in the end, which explained why Fong was not his favorite person. Yes, it's settled then. Fong, let's roll with Idomu for this one, said Su Kong Yin. Fong Mink one curled his lips and felt suffocated. He suppressed his anger and scanned each onlooker. Shooting Wang Cha Ching a cold stare, he looked at Su Kong Yin and said calmly, Director Su, if you still want me to host Contest Center, I will talk about Dollar, not just for this episode, but for all future episodes. I will also tell everyone that Dollar will be the winner of the contest. Everyone in the conference room paused and looked like Fong Minkwan as if he were crazy.